to warn you that at some point during the next four days, your brain might explode. By then, you won't even care. It's time for TED. At this very moment, you are viewing my upper half. Um, my lower half is appearing at a different conference. <laughs> uh, in, in a different country. The Africans are the green down here, they still remain here. This is India, Indonesia is moving on pretty fast. And in the 80s here, you have Bangladesh still among the African countries there. But now Bangladesh, it's a miracle that happens in the 80s. The Imams start to promote family planning and they move up into that corner. And in 90s, we have the terrible HIV epidemic that takes down the life expectancy of the African countries and all the rest of the world moves up into the corner where we have long lives and small family and we have a completely new world. The bacteria we was had no idea of what we are today. And today, we have no idea of what we shall be in four billion years. And this territory is fantastic. That is our poetry. It's just, it's just uh, fascinating that every, you know, every single person you meet is doing something incredible. And I, I was thinking about this, what to talk about at TED, when I talked to the, uh, the kind rep from Ted, and I said, listen, you know, what, what should I talk about? Uh, he said, don't worry about it, just, just be profound. It's the impression that you get of just this huge diversity of expertise and passion. And I've never been to a, a, a conference before where people are actually pushing people aside to get into the room. It's normally the other way around, you know, people are kind of scrambling to get out. I'm a witness and I want my testimony to be honest and uncensored. I also want it to be powerful and eloquent and to do as much justice as possible to the experience of the people I'm photographing. We have a chance here to prove that a country that almost slaughtered itself out of existence can practice reconciliation and provide comprehensive quality health care with minimal outside help. Being up on the stage, doesn't matter if it's 350 in the audience or not, it feels like it's thousands because it really is this intimidatingly crazy space. But I gotta tell you, it really is a loving atmosphere. People here want you to do really well. When you're sharing ideas and suddenly you are more than the font of the ideas. I mean, you are like a preacher and you can almost feel a transformation in them. Suddenly they're saying, wow, this is really interesting. Wow, this is the most interesting thing I ever heard about. Wow, I love this idea. If anybody just stays in their own little world, uh, they miss maybe the right way to affect the rest of the world. When the experts rise to the challenge of doing this, they actually surprise themselves. They actually learn something more about their own subject. They learn something more in particular about how to convey it. This opens my eyes to a new way of, of articulating something I knew, but I, I didn't yet know how to make it unforgettable. TED is about releasing power intellectual power, emotional power, and the power of contribution in the world. This is the song they played over the loudspeakers in Tiananmen Square during the revolution. This is the song which they played in Berlin when the wall fell down. This is the song to the possibility that human beings are, and I say that's who you are. I guess those of us that have been around TED for a while call things like this TED moments. <laughs>